Hey everybody, welcome back to day two. We are here, it is Tuesday. Welcome. We're almost at the midway point of our week. I'm so excited by all the learning I'm seeing you do online, on Seesaw, and all the assignments that I'm getting to do. So keep up the great work. I'm so, so, so proud of you. Um, you just keep doing the very best that you can, and I just can't wait to see all the learning that you're doing. It's amazing. Keep it up and keep doing great. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started on day two. And this is going to be, we're going to get right into phonics again. Um, so here we go. I'm going to say a word. You're going to echo me. And what sound are we working on this week? What sound are we hearing? Yeah, that U sound. And so you're going to hear these three things when we get to our activity, our main activity. But for this activity, some of the words may have it and some may not. So I'm going to say the word, and here's the first word, help. Excellent. Get out your slinkies. Uh, ooh, p. Help. Great job. Now let's do the next one. Slam. 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 Great job. Trim. Trim. Great job. Trust. Good. Trust. Trust. Great job. And buck. 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 Great job. Um, and just a recap, what two letters might be here in tr? What two letters make that sound tr? Tr. Tr. T R. Great job. And then at the end of buck, we have a k sound. What two letters would make that k sound when you're writing that word? Excellent job. It is C K. Great job. All right, so we have our U sounding words. I'm going to give you a word. I want you to tell a neighbor, or you can say it out loud to me on the computer, but I want you to tell me which picture this word would go under. This is kind of our practice for today. Um, let's see, where's those words? Okay, so here we go. We have the word tube. Tube. Which one of those is going to go with tube? Job. It's going to go up here like cube, tube, t, cube, and then have that E at the end. Great job. What about the word room, room? Which one of those three is it going to be? Great job. It is going to be this double O, er, um, room. Great job. Um, what about the word? Glue. Glue. Which one of these three words, columns, would be glue? Excellent. It would be this one. The picture kind of gives it away. But it is going to be glue. Glue. Great job. Now, clue. Which one is going to be clue? Which three? Clue. Clue. Great job. We're going to do here. What two letters are going to go in front here? Cool. Cool. Good job. It's going to be C, L, K, O, U. Clue, like that game. And our last one is going to be cute. Cute. Which one of those three is going to be K, K, cute? Cute. Good. Just like our cube up here. What sound? K, cute. Great job with that silent E. Fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our sight words. And here's our first sight word of this week. And it is the word her. 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 Let's spell it. Excellent. What word? What word? What word? Excellent sentence for her. That backpack belonged to her. Excellent. And where is her shoe? Good job. 
All right, the next one is has, 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 has. Make sure you're repeating after me with those words, has. Excellent, let's spell it, H, A, good. Good, has, what's the word? What word? What word? Excellent, it is has. She has a big pony. Excellent, he has red shoes. Excellent, our next one is them, them, them. Repeat after me, them. Good job, them. Let's spell it, T. One more time. Them, good, what word? What word? What word? Fantastic, it is them. Um, she played with them. Good. He went to the park with them. Excellent job. Tomorrow be ready for your sentences because I'm going to be listening for them. I'm so excited. Our next sight word is the word walk. 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 Repeat them after me. Walk. Walk. Excellent. Let's spell it. Good. W-A-L-K. Good. One more time. W-A-L-K. Great job. I went for a walk today. Good. He said, please walk. Excellent job. And our last word is stop. Good job. All right, what's the word? Stop, stop, stop. Let's spell it. Good. Great job. Excellent. Good job. What word? What word? Excellent. The teacher said, stop running. The sign said, stop. Great job. I miss your guys' sentences. So most of the time, your sentences are so much better than mine. All right. So there is our sight words for today. Now we're going to go into our story, but we're really going to focus in on the vocabulary words. So we're not going to go back in and read the whole thing, but we're going to pinpoint some pages that we're going to go in and really dig deeper a little bit to find our meaning of our vocabulary words. So the first word that we're going to go on to is the is or start with is the one of the first ones that we come across and it is erupts. So those volcanoes erupt, right? And so it says in here, it kind of gives us the meaning because is this book fiction or nonfiction? Excellent. It is nonfiction. It tells us facts. It gives us facts about volcanoes and what's um, what they're about. So they're nice enough to give us the word with the definition in here, but there's some that we're going to have to figure out. So erupt, it says when magma reaches Earth's surface, Earth's surface, some eruptions can be explosive. So erupt, right? So here we go. We're going to do erupt when magma reaches the Earth's surface. So we're going to go, so magma erupts when it hits the Earth's surface, right? So Earth's surface, we're going to kind of make this the surface. When magma erupts your surface, okay? So we have... Actually, we have three words because we have magma, which is inside of our volcano, because that's going to be one of the words that we need to know. Um, erupts. So erupts the volcano. So I'm going to put that one here. Then we had surface, which is very important because it doesn't become that volcano it doesn't make an eruption until it reaches that Earth's surface, right? And the surface we're going to get to in a second is where those vents are. So all of this would be a vent on the Earth's surface. 
Then another one of our words, we kind of talked about it, was magma. So thick, thick, liquid, melted rock, right? So melted, liquidy, melted rock, right? So great job. So we're going to kind of come up with some of these motions. We're going to try our very hardest. Um, so we have thick, melted rock, so magma erupts on the Earth's surface, all right? Then... When magma comes out, so we're going to kind of put them all together today. So when magma, magma is thick, liquid, melted rock in the middle of the earth. When the magma travels up the cone of the volcano and it erupts on the earth's surface, now it becomes lava on the earth's surface. So once it erupts and it now comes out of the vent, it is now called lava which is so interesting how all these words kind of come together. So there is lava now. So now, then yesterday we were talking about the caldera, which has to do with that lake. So caldera is when the volcanoes, they kind of erupt and they don't really erupt anymore, but they've done their thing on the earth's surface. So they have the magma down below, it erupts on the Earth's surface, now becomes lava, then the caldera falls in. So it's that volcano, it is now hollow, and it just kind of falls in. And now, Crater Lake is the deepest lake on Earth. So that caldera, when a, when a volcano sinks in. So those are our vocabulary words for today. And what I'm going to have you do, your assignment, your assignment on Seesaw is a phonics activity. So you're going to have some fun with that. It's filling in the blank with sentences. And just going to have a lot of fun with that. Make sure you practice some of the, we're going to do the volcano um, vocabulary again. But what you're also going to do is you're going to watch a video. There's a link on Seesaw. And it is how Hawaii was made. I'm so excited. I love this video so much because it's just so fascinating on how Hawaii was made. It wasn't even there. And now it was made from volcanoes. And there's one volcano on Hawaii that's still active today. So there's some vents in there. So some of the vents might be in like this area. It's anywhere where the steam and the ash and lava can come out of the volcano. It doesn't have to be at the top. So go and enjoy those things. Have a great time learning today. Make sure you go back in and seesaw and submit that assignment, but after you watch the video on how Hawaii was made, the link is there for you and enjoy. It is so exciting. So you will have a great time learning. I can't wait to see all the things that you turn into me and just have a great time with this. Bye. Welcome to our Tuesday science investigation. So this you're going to need like a little bit of mulch or you can do like some tree pieces, some dirt, a cup. This is a yogurt, an empty yogurt cup um, with a circle hole at the bottom to fit your toothpaste. Now, before you go in your parents' bathroom and take their toothpaste, make sure you ask them if you can or find something a little bit similar that you might be able to use. And then we're going to go ahead and put it together and see what we can find with the Earth's crust and the magma chambers. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to have your cup with the hole in the bottom. You need to make it big enough to where your toothpaste can fit in it. Okay, so then it sticks there. Then you're going to put your dirt on top so that's like the earth's crust and then you're gonna put the um, mulch on there and that's the earth's surface there so then this toothpaste acts as the magna chamber so when it pops through we're gonna see the lava kind of come through and create those cracks so you're gonna squeeze it up and you can see it there now the magma becomes the lava once it hits the Earth's surface and now creates that volcano. So cool.